What's up, fellas? The past two episodes we spent on hematite uh, and fun, and today we're not doing hematite and fun. We're going to do the chem plant. Yep, that is right. We're going to finish up the last of the early game machines, basically, and then we're able to get started on the fun stuff. All kinds of stuff and things and stuff. And it, you get the point. Super important. we got to make the thing so we can do stuff. So all we got to do is set up this... Um, box for the hematite boom yep we've already done some hematite stuff but uh do i have the other thing i need yeah i got the slag so this is more slag or no more uh what is this flux it's a block and seven ingots because um yeah oh no come on give me the give me this i'll throw it in there uh we might have a problem because it's not putting in the flux hold on Okay, I gotta get rid of this. It's causing me some issues. I need to put the flux in there. Like, why are you not smelting down my flux? Okay, this 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 is a this is a very bad position. <laughs> this is very bad. I cannot get the flux back out. I guess this is this is really a grating issue. We need to put some grates on this thing. Or not, that actually doesn't solve anything. That made that doesn't it can't get down low enough for this. You serious? This is actually a problem. Cannot grab the stuffs. <laughs> this is actually... Oh! Holy moly. That was, uh... I mean, it works. It, it works, but I kind of exploded because I had so much gunpowder on my inventory. What you want to you won't accept this? What? Well, why won't you expect accept this? This is this is literally what it needs for the recipe. It needs flux and some other stuff. You're saying you won't accept this this block of it? It's literally a foundry scraps block of flux, and it's not accepted. I can't put that in there. Can I put the hematite in there? Yes, I can. Well, why can I put hematite in there and I can't put the regular flux in there? Uh, that's a little bit sus. Uh, I don't like that. You know what? I'll just put it in the hopper anyway. Put this in the front of the hopper so that way it eventually gets in there. That was a waste of time. Let's go ahead and get back to making more iron. Oh, right. This only gives us two, doesn't it? For for this. Oh, that's that's a mistake. Yeah, th th that that that's wrong. You need flux for that. Everything needs flux right now. Which is a problem. But, uh... <laughs> Why? Why does everything need flux? This is issue. Wish I could use bones to make flux, but no. Can't do that. Rip. Ah, oh, here we go. This is it. Gotta just build her up here. Keep mining. Keep, uh... This is actually, like, uh, It's kind of... This tree was really tall. <laughs> now it damages me for, for falling from it. Okay. First thing we need to make uh, flux is to just get more charcoal. And so we're gonna make some charcoal in the, this guy instead of using an actual charcoal making machine. We should make the coke uh, combination oven, but I wanna get the can plant first. Don't know why. Wait, it works on getting charcoal from this? Every five gives you an extra. I mean, it's not the best way to get charcoal. We know we know that sawmill is the best way to do that, but that is actually impressive that it works on this. I didn't think it would. Oh, right. Fluoride is actually what we needed for that. <laughs> wow. Calcium fluoride. Plus silicon dioxide. That makes flux. Then we can make iron into steel. Then we can put the coal in there. Or the charcoal. Uh, we'll, we'll save the charcoal for actual flux if we need that as well. Right? Because we're going to need that for flux. So, boom. It's regular flux. We can just run that through the machine too. Brilliant. That will make a lot more iron from our hematite. Approximately, yeah. God knows how many blocks of it. 
<laughs> it's a lot of blocks, dude. That is just a mountain of iron right there sitting in there. That's why hematite is so good. Spin this good, and hopefully it never gets worse. Because if it gets worse, that's going to be sad. Very sad. But it's not. Not yet, at least. Says this tasty mush. Astronaut food tube. It gives me a winding key, but it's a tube. What, what the heck? That makes zero... Okay. We're going to eat some canned knee palms. Canned stallion milk? What the heck? What does it do? Cause it explode gate or something? Okay. Steel? We got steel. Flux? We got flux. Shove it in the thing. Boom. Okay, that's gonna make even more iron. <laughs> even more iron. Bro, we're gonna have to run the hematite process to get steel. So it's the moment you all been waiting for. We're gonna make the analog circuit. <laughs> you thought we were gonna make the other thing? Well, no. Can't do that yet. Oh, shucks. It looks like we got, we're gonna need some stuff for this. Some absolute crap. Look at this. So it needs aluminium powder. To get aluminium powder, you need a thingy. Or you need to get niobium. And uh, we can do the niobium if we have rare earth. And I think we actually have some of that down there. So we can skip getting the shredder. Technically, but uh, no, we need to get the shredder next. So, what does the shredder need nowadays? Does it take anything stupid? Any baloney? And no, it, it's actually a little bit more expensive than it used to be. I think it used to be four or six or something. Uh, who knows? Probably somebody out there knows, but I don't really care. Shove that in there. That's eight. And uh, motors, that will be five iron for all three of them. And this is Minecraft grade copper, which we need three ingots of, and we have three ingots of it. We'll make it into wires over here. And then we don't need motors for the chem plant, so that's basically it as far as stupid crap goes to do. Um, but we got this, and uh, yeah, that's, that's all. That's it. That's that's it, man. That's like that's literally that's the machine right there. <laughs> yeah, but we need some plates as well. Uh, it plates, two of them should do, and then you chop this into a ring of coils. You just need one. That's a thing that you don't want to double click on if you're trying to make multiple motors because you might like if you're trying to make four motors and you accidentally click this two t uh, three times, you'll end up with. You know, three of these, and then 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 you're gonna be set for making six motors, but not actually have the stuff you need for the four motors that you wanted to make. So, kind of a kind of thing that you want to don't double click for. That should be everything we need for the next machine. This thing was actually a breeze to make, but we didn't have the the iron to make it in the previous two episodes, so we didn't make it then. And that's the shredder, and this is actually the single most important starting machine in the mod because this is better than this see this thing we said was very bad buy one get one three because you gotta do f you gotta cook five get one three right and then this one this one is you cook one get two free well it's technically getting one free so it's, it's literally bogo buy one get one free perfect i like that but we're gonna put that right over uh here Boom. It's used in a lot of processes too. Keep that in mind. It's one of those most in uh one of those super important machines you're gonna use a lot. Well, you're gonna use it in a few processes. You're not gonna use it in every single process, but you're gonna use it a bit. So you might wanna keep that in mind. Now, for the next ad agenda thing. Wow. Uh, I think it do it. We need uh we need actual shredder blades. And there's a few flavors of shredder blades. You got titanium. Advanced and dash shredder blades, which I think we're gonna go with. Um, well, we can't afford dash, it's out of the question. We're probably gonna go for titanium or actually, advanced alloy would be cheaper. I think that would be the best option. Problem is, I just don't want to make advanced alloy right now. <laughs> it's just a I don't want to make the you know what, it's the best option. So, we're gonna put five in there, get six out. Boom. Bingo. Amazing. And then we're going to cook that up with some of that. 
And now uh, to make shredder blades, you need a few of these. So like you gotta cook them up in the blast furnace, then you gotta cook them again in the blast furnace. Which will automate this line eventually, I think, for the um, Minecraft Great Copper. However, I think it's actually more beneficial to make Minstraft Great Copper inside of the this, this. So it's made by. Uh, oh, it's you can make foundry scraps. What? That's interesting. But you can make it with one redstone to one of them. Gives you two out. Ah. Also, this thing. This furnace looks actually kind of useful. Like this arc furnace. Oh wait, that's like the old arc furnace. I remember that thing. Uh, it got an uplift, didn't it? It's actually, it recycles things, like a reg tech. It's fascinating. Like, I, I did not notice that the, hold on, let's actually check. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh wait, no, it's uncraftable now. You can't even craft this. Back in the day, it, this used to be um, a thing. You needed, like, graphite electrodes and stuff for it, but I think they, we even don't have, uh... Actually, we still have graphite electrodes. Whoa, 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 petroleum coke. That's, that's pretty good, I like that change. That's a nice one. You just do a petroleum coke. I mean, we're gonna need this before we can even get petroleum coke, so we're gonna need a coke oven for that. So we're gonna need eight, because four of those will surround one ingot, and then we'll have a little extra of this, thankfully. So, that's that's all. So once you get your shredder blades done, which I didn't even show you all making these, I forgot. Um, not bad. Eh, doesn't matter. You gotta get eight plates for them. We already did that. What do we need to do next? We need to make the, uh... Uh-huh. What am I trying to do? Oh, right, we're trying to make aluminum powder. And to do that, you just gotta take your aluminum ore and shred it up in them. We don't have any aluminum anymore, because something probably happened to it. Something stupid, probably. Probably, hold on one second there. Look at this, you can do eight at once, which is why this is amazing. And that will give you um, three times for those guys, so it is better than BOGO. It's actually amazing. Well, actually, maybe not. Well, you don't even get the BOGO from that thing for them, so, yeah, it is better than that. So, uh, yeah. Insulator. And then you want to smelt uh, up one of these, or you just want to make it into wires. Which I think is probably more advantageous to make the aluminium wires for this. So that's what we're going to do for capacitors. And yes, you can make capacitors from aluminium in real life. That's actually how they're made. made of, yeah, you can look it up. You can try making a homemade one, I think. Uh, they're... Actually, I think... I think they're really difficult. I mean, like, to actually get a working one, but, like, when, if you get one to work, that'd be kind of cool. want to hear about that. Okay. So, what else do we need for the circuit board? Because that, that's the most annoying thing about the chem plant now. Oh, this is actually really annoying. Lead wires, vacuum tubes. I mean, that's not that bad, but let's go ahead and get our lead wires out. Vacuum tubes. We don't have lead wires. We don't do anything with lead. That makes lead a little more useful, guys. It, it, it used to not even have a use. It used to be used in, like, bullets, and that was it. And half the time, you don't need bullets because you're playing single player, so... But in the case of being on a server, kind of would be expensive to, to divert lead from making bullets, but... Makes sense because this is actually soldering alloy, basically. Essentially, it's, the, it's just a simplified version of soldering. Does that count towards my bonus? does not count towards my bonus. And that will give us 18 pieces. Will it make wires? Yeah, I think it does. So those are our lead wires done. Bingo! And what else do we need? We need, uh... <laughs> this is actual... Actual pain. Oh, okay, that's actually not that bad. And the gold one, I assume, is better. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Gold is way better. So if you got gold... <laughs> you know what to do. Make it into gold plates, <laughs> because you're going to be using gold plates nowadays. Used to be, you didn't need these fellas, but now these are actually amazing. Like, the only recipe that used to need gold plates was uh, the meteorite sword, and like, the fire-resistant armor, or whatever it was. Oh, crap. 
Stop that. That is uh, not so good. I messed up, kind of. It's It could be worse, but maybe if we make generator bodies, which I don't think are in the mod anymore. They're not in the mod anymore. Like, they got removed. <laughs> I think they might still be in the mod. I don't know. But they, they definitely... I kind of like the generator bodies. They were kind of hard to make, but they were also worth it. Like, it was exciting to make them. That will make our circuits. And how many... We just need one for this, because it's a pain in the butt. Pain in the keister, so uh, it's not that... Uh, Okay, we're on the next stage. All right, fellas, we're gonna do this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three. Boom! Spit that stuff in there. Now you need six plates of oh, copper. Let's go ahead and see if we got any copper plates. Uh, we got one copper plate. Uh, that's okay. Kind of not. Not good. Not good. Let's go ahead and. Shred these up. Get our, uh, three times whatever that is. Yeah, so it gives you three times, like, those are good. It's good. But you can't fortune them, which is sad. Amazing. That, that really, I like that furnace. Like, I really like that furnace. I advocate the usage of that furnace. Steel tanks, which are coming up next. And these are not the tanks that get hit by RPGs on rooftops. Like, the only use for tanks nowadays is fighting other tanks. Uh, if you put tanks in a city, then they, they and the city's already controlled by, like, the enemy forces, then, um, your tanks are gonna get obliterated. So, uh, there, there, there's really not much point in fighting tanks with tanks if the enemy occupies the city. At that point, you should fight the tanks with artillery, because art artillery can't, can't just destroy artillery with uh, a tank that's in a city. When the artillery is like five miles from the city, so it kind of forces them to move that that tank out of there. Not using. Plus, like tanks are kind of weak from the top, but I wouldn't say they're the weakest from the top. They'd probably be the weakest in the rear. But uh, I don't know. They probably are pretty weak on the top too. <laughs> it says six items now, dude. This recipe is actually easy now. Like, so easy now. It used to be way more fun. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it was way more fun. But, like, the, the recipe here is, like, way, way less complicated. I liked it when it was complicated. I don't know. But that's probably just me being insane. Maybe I should just stop being insane and just get back to what we're doing. Like, the last thing we're gonna need for this is so simple. Like, actually, really simple. Like, I'm, I'm being genuine. Genuine? Or genuine. I don't know. Some people are weird, and they say things weird, so they say genuine instead of genuine. Or genuine. What? How the heck do you say that word? It, it, what? 30 ways of saying one word. What is this? This is some kind of atrocity. Hold on one second here. What the heck is going on? Oh, we're out of coal in both our machines. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's more than a skill issue. I think it's, like, actually a um, problem that we're having now. We're out of coal and everything. <laughs> hey, I, dude, we gotta go to the nether soon. Like, next episode, we'll go to the nether. We'll make... We need to make, like, armor for that first. We need, like, fire-resistant armor and some... Actually, we just need a, a helmet from the power armor. will provide us adequate protection to the fumes. Because, you know, if you go into the nether, you're technically going to Reddit, and they have corrosive fumes there from, uh, if you, if you pay attention to the HBM mod stuff on the titles, the splash text from HBM mod, Reddit's got corrosive fumes, so we don't want to go to Reddit, unless we have our power armor helmet, so it's protecting us. Maybe we need, we need to make the coke oven next episode, then start making oil stuff, and then start doing the oil crap, because that's, that's why I'm making the camp plan, so we can do oil crap. Yep. <laughs> Does not take that long if you know what you're doing. But uh, if you're new to the mod, then you're going to get confused and lost in every different direction. But I've got, like, over a year of experience. Almost. We're starting year two, aren't we? We are starting year two. Technically, I started back in June. Back with that one mod pack, which was... With the Diggs mod pack that we made. 
where I tried to survive as many days as possible, but it wasn't actually trying to survive as many days as possible because I just kind of failed at that part. I just kind of did all the technology as much as possible. And I, it took a long time. It took like 11 days or something. I think in Supersymmetry, I put the exact same amount of time in. Uh, in this mod pack, in just HBM alone, I've probably put like three times what I've done in Supersymmetry. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, except if we included all the time I've spent on Greg Tech, then I don't know. It's probably, um, it's probably not even a toss-up between the two. It's probably still, like, HBM mod winning, um, with the amount of time I've put into it. But, really depends on what type of tech you're into. I kind of like the machines in HBM mod more than, uh, I like the ones in Greg Tech. And we got a camp plan. Hey, let's go. Shove that garbage in there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That is not how we do things here. That is unacceptable. Throw that up again. Huh? Oh, that's some complete baloney. That's some bologna right there. It's the Italians would say it's bologna. Hold on one second. I got an idea. Weren't we gonna just do some stupid stuff with this? We were gonna just shove it in the ground. <laughs> yep, exactly. That, that's, that's the purpose of the chem plant now is for for it to be buried into the soil. Like, no, I'm actually pretty sure we'll fit it in here if we just go like, hold on, what is it? We gotta get our cable in. Cause I forgot to, forgot to cable my gate to step, oh my gosh. And it should be cleared from that. That is actually it. That will fit the height of this onto this, basically. It's perfect, uh, almost. I just gotta move this a block over. And then it'll be done. Except that's on the wrong side. The input side's on the wrong side. There we go. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all next time when we do something besides sitting around and talking about stupid stuff.